And we are back. Hello, everyone. This is Skilga with a Let's Play of new Super Mario Sea World. I've been pumped for this game for all of the 10 days or whatever it's been that I've known about it. Tassifro has managed to sneak this out in Comic at 78 that's either going on right now or has just finished. It was this weekend. And they kept this completely under wraps until a couple weeks ago when they were like, oh, by the way, here's what's coming. And I just completely flipped my mind. Just based on the screenshots I've seen, apparently this is going to be what everyone wanted Super Mario Sea World to be. And given what I know of Tassifro and their level design abilities, I believe that if they can combine their own ingenuity in designing levels with level clusters, creativity, and some of the, the truly clever and genius things that they did amidst all the, the mock that I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat that, I really can't. We can combine those two things, we are going to have one spectacular game in our hands, and that's what I'm really hoping for here. Um, I have already played through the first level of this, because I want to get used to stuff, but otherwise, I'm going to try to blind run this, which means that I'm going to hold off completely speeding through the game for the sake of the LP, but I, I'm, I'm going to be able to manage with that, I'm pretty sure. Alright, um, please save files, this is... Kind of a combination of Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World. And the, it's, you'll see the, the similarities as you go along. I have three files here. This is um, Erase Things. Yep. And this is Controls. And I think... Oh, I wonder what A does. Oh, the, oh A brought up the... Um, oh, A is Pause. Okay. I have... Uh, C would be... Oh, God. Everyone out there that knows Moonspeak is flipping out at me right now, I'm sure. Oh, it's the item button, okay. Alright, now last thing, this is, this is exit, we don't want that. It's the last thing we want right now. Alright, let's get this show on the road. As you can already see, this is a very Super Mario Bros. 3 kind of layout there. I guess our goal is to get to Alice. I haven't done too much research into this, other than the fact it looks awesome. And there's a racing suit! I want that so bad. Uh, Alright, well, I know also that the shop there is uh, Renosuke, and that's about it. So let's get to the one level I already know how to do. Now, the first thing that surprised me was knowing that the, the stars got out when they got out of the box and they start bouncing around them. And, oh wow, this is off to a terrific start. I'm gonna keep this, because that's that's too funny. I'm sure everyone just laughed at that really hard. The controls are better than that, though. The controls are better than... The controls of the three games between this and the other two, the controls of this one are a lot better. Um, it's not crazy amounts of inertia that Super Mario to Land had, and it's not the crazy amounts of I'm constantly on ice that Super Mario the World had. Fuzzies are now total Koopa shells there, so you can bounce them all over the place. It's really awesome. Um, they kind of, but not really, kept the head proportion thing going. I mean, it's money so it's either big or small, so it's not that big a deal. Those things I found, I found in my practice. Whoa, lots of stars here. I found in my practice that those that fairy down there that you can't you can jump on her, but you're gonna get hit by the by the walls there. So your best bet is just to kick a guy out of. Whoa. Yeah, so why are you not scrolling to the left? There we go. That might get a little bit dirty. And now we have Pico Suit. And the fireballs actually function like they did in Super Mario Lands, not the regular fireballs that, uh, that what's it called? Super Mario Super World used. These, these bounce all over the place in diagonals, and they will pick up items for you if you want them to. Like that. And they will, they'll also kill fairies, obviously. Yes. What would they be? If not, how useful they are not for that. There we go. Oh, that's a teacup. That's what it is. You can see now there's, um, this is the box in the upper right. I think that's the C button, A button, whatever it was. There we go. Why does it have surprisingly long hair? You never really notice it on her, even though it's, it's one of those things that's like, yeah, you, you're always aware of it, but it's, it, it, that surprised me when I first saw that, the climbing animation on the, the vines there. Alright, um, I guess looking for 10 stars is going to be the equal of looking for 100 stars in, in the other, uh, in Super Mario Super Mario Super Mario Super Mario, sorry. It's, there's way too many Mario games going on here, and I'm completely lost in my ecstasy of actually having this game to play, finally. So I'm going to be confused all over the place, and I'm guessing this is the end. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that. Popped in the balloon. The first time I went through this stage, I was small at that point, and I didn't pop, but I grabbed it instead. Alright. 
So I got six of the ten stars. I wonder if the, eventually I will. I suppose I'll have to do a 100% grab everything, all the red stars run, but that'll happen later. Um, I know Renosuke stuff costs stars. I'm gonna go to the second stage before I before I visit him. Background. This is this is very similar looking to uh, the kind of stuff that uh, Super Mario Sun World used. I'm wondering how much of an inspiration that game was for this one. That kind of still looks like very similar, albeit it's very, rather generic ground and grass graphics. So, oh, that's right, there's some bits down there. I wonder if those those, those fall, you can jump up through them rather than they would fall if you stood long enough, I suppose. Can you slide this game? Oh wow, look at that! <laughs> that is awesome. Can I get down there. You jerk! Come on. Oh whatever. Probably like five red stars down there. Ooh, red I'm never gonna be able to use, get used to that with that fuzzy stuff. Uh, Super shells now. Yeah. So what else? Some more of these bouncing stars. All these, those, those ones are bigger. Are those, I've not been keeping track too much of how much each star is gonna be when I collect it. Okay, that looks bigger than normal though. Oh, I guess they're all worth the same. They're all worth one. Nice shot. Can I get down there? Oh, gotta be able to get down there somehow. Yeah, there's definitely. Oh, well, maybe there's a way on the other side. That! That is incredibly useful. Oh, there we go. We've got some ping pong actually going there. Tim Ball, whatever it is. Oh, so I can get up there somehow, huh? Yeah. Uh, oh, almost. I know I can make this. I know I can make this. Damn it. Alright. Well. This looks like totally not a trap. Yeah, see, if this was Super Mario World, that would have been a bottomless pit. Everyone knows it. I'm not gonna deny it. I can't deny it. Uh, those stars look like they should be worth more. They look bigger. Now, what the hell is that? Oh, awesome! I can kick things up. That is very good to know. Well, I wonder if. Come on, jump when I tell you to jump. Ugh, there we go. Oh, come on. Oh, I guess it's just a... It's like a key or something, I guess. Maybe. There we go. Knew I could get up there. And, ooh, I almost fell back down. Yeah, these are definitely a lot better physics than... I already got the last star. Well, that's not good. So what's going on here? I have no idea what that was for then. Huh. I just drop it. Great. Oh crap, there's time in this game. Oh, I should start paying attention to that, huh? And six stars again. I gotta start doing some more star hunting. Let's see, let's, let's get stuff with Renosuke. Oh wow, okay. Um, I guess that's how you save the game. Alright then. Grab one of I guess. Can I talk to him somehow? Mm -hmm. I'm not doing anything. Fuck you, me out of the store. Get down there, real footed. Oh, that should have done something. Come on. I'm just gonna go ahead and. I can walk, now I can stand in this head. Awesome. Oh, thanks, pal. Alright. Uh, I think that'll be it for now. I think this is approaching 10 minutes. I forgot to keep track of exactly when I started. Too excited for this game. Oh my god. Alright. Well, this is it. This is our introduction. I like what I'm seeing so far. I very much like what I've seen. And I still have my high hopes for this game. This is a nice... Um... Oh, what's the term? Fan service shot there for all you Harper fans out there. Well, I'm gonna try this update this on a daily schedule, so and we'll see how that works out. I think I, I think I can do that. Alright, uh, this is Goga. I will see you all next time, and thank you for enjoying this game with me. So excited.